Uh, this week I am uploading four beautiful premier low B flutes, bass B flutes. Um, and I'm sorry, I had a little bit of a cold about a week ago, and so I sound, I still sound a bit congested. <clears throat> but I'm all healed up now. Um, let's see. So let me show you these beautiful flutes. We have this one in Poplar. Poplar is a hardwood, technically, because it has leaves and not needles. But it's a very unique hardwood in that it's, it's pretty soft and lightweight. Um, so the flute will have a little bit more of the characteristics of a softer wood, like, um, like cedar or um, maybe closer to like uh, an aromatic cedar or something like that where it's, it's still dense and it still is a hardwood, but it does have some really nice quality to the voice. Um, the bees are pretty big flutes. Uh, it's an inch and a quarter bore, and they're quite long as well. Um, so this is really a, a better key for someone who um, has big flexible hands and who has some experience playing flutes. Uh, you'll see I probably won't even really be able to get the whole flute and frame here while I'm demonstrating it. <clears throat> lovely voice. It has a, a really strong and resonant bottom note um, and you can feel the vibration in the flute while you're playing it. I have this beautiful cherry flute. This is a hardwood uh, and cherry will darken with age into a red, a dark red color. This has some kind of figure in the wood that I'm gonna try to catch here. Yeah, see that shimmer? It's almost like a wavy pattern, a little bit like curly maple or something, but not quite as pronounced. It's still very beautiful. Cherry is such a lovely wood for making flutes out of. It usually gives a really sweet quality to the voice of the flute. It has such a strong low note there. I love how deep these low B flutes are. Um, Cherry is a wonderful wood also because it's a really durable hardwood. This one has fairly has fairly thin walls, so it's not terribly heavy. It's actually, surprisingly, it's actually lighter in weight than that poplar is. We have this beautiful redwood. This is um, from the redwood we have that was um, salvaged from a, an old covered bridge that was deconstructed. Look at this cute little, just like little knots in the wood here, like little, three little spots. Really cute. And then it has some beautiful, um, let's see if I can get the camera to focus. Right there. <laughs> this is uh, just some interesting patterns in the wood from probably from branches. I really like little features like that. And it has a nice uh, rolled grain pattern you can actually see. This is a pretty dense piece of redwood. Um, it has some weight behind it. Uh, redwood is, sometimes redwood is so light it feels like you could just crush it and break it, but this is actually pretty durable feeling. This 
one really has the characteristics of that a lot of soft voids have where it has kind of a smoky quality to the voice uh, more meditative and more kind of soothing um, I really like this some people don't like that very much but I think it's I think it just sounds so nice and last but not least we have this beautiful walnut and this is a heavy fruit it's noticeably heavier than the the other ones um, and it's just uh, walnut is a really dense wood so this is a very durable flute just some oh I like this that has a really cool section there that looks kind of like an eye. I think this is probably from where there was a, a limb on the tree. It's really nice looking. These all sound so lovely. I don't know that I have a favorite. I might lean towards the, I think maybe the poplar is my favorite actually, but they're all so beautiful. Well, I hope you guys find this helpful. <laughs> Thanks for watching.